हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन द सेम चैप्टर डिफ्रेंसिएशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेसन वी वेर लर्निंग हाउ टू डिफ्रेंसिएट एंड इम्प्लीसिट फंक्शन आई दिस आई हैव रिसीव फ्यू क्वेश्चंस दैट स्टूडेंट्स आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम सो दैट दोज क्वेश्चंस वी विल सॉल्विंग टुडे एंड होपफुली यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एट होम एंड वट एवर डाउट्स यू हैव यू लेट मी नो यू सेंड मी माई whatsapp number so that i can solve those questions so let's start today's class so you see first question y equals to y sin x differentiate this one we have to differentiate with respect to x so when you differentiate ddx of y here you have to apply uv rule right so y ddx of sin x plus sin x ddx of y ddx of y y ddx of sin x is cos x plus dy dx sin x so dy dx term we will be taking in one side dy dx already it was there minus ddx sin x equals to y cos x ddx of y can be taken common we will be getting here 1 minus sin x y cos x or ddx equals to y cos x by 1 minus sin x right so this is our final answer so in the previous question we saw y equals to y sin x okay but if the question gets changed if you have y equals to x sin y then in a similar way we will be differentiating now we will consider x as u and sin y as v okay so we know the formula of product rule u ddx of v plus v ddx of u Same same formula we have applied in the previous question also. So here we see d d x of y x d d x of v v means here sine y plus v means sine y d d x of u you will consider as x right x d d x of sine y can be written as cos y again d d x of y. Okay, so now we have to differentiate. Previous question there was that ddx x was one, but here we have y, so ddx of y. You need to write once more. Sine y ddx of x is one. So x cos y dy dx plus sine y. Here ddx y term we have to take in left hand side. So already we have one ddx y minus x. cos y ddx equals to sin y now ddx of y can be taken as common here 1 minus x cos y equals to sin y or ddx of y can be written as sin y by 1 minus x cos y okay so this is our final answer okay we'll move to next question now you see i have noted down few questions here so that we will be solving these questions are from exercise 8h that is the implicit function which we have solved few questions in the last video so this question also i will be giving in your whatsapp group so you will be practicing okay unsolved question you will practice and the doubt which you get you will let me know next question what is given here y equals to or y log x equals to x minus y Prove that d d x of y equals to log x by one plus log x whole square. So we'll differentiate directly. Yeah, differentiating both sides with respect to x. Now here we have to apply u v rule. Okay, I will write the formula here. That is d d x of u v. That is u d d x of v plus v d d x of u. So this formula will be. Applied in most of the questions here. So y d d x of log x 
plus log x d d x of y apply uv rule here now d d x of x is 1 here d d x of y y d d x of log x is 1 by x plus log x dy dx equals to 1 minus dy dx right so dy dx term to be taken in one side log x dy dx plus dy dx 1 this will be coming in other side that is y by x y into 1 y y by x will be coming in other side that will be minus y by x now dy dx term will be taken common here so we will get here log x plus 1 equals to if you take lcm here x minus y by x or dy dx can be written as x minus y x 1 plus log x you see we got the ddx y term here but it is not matching with the right hand side so we have to take some substitution here from the question you see x minus y can be written as y log x right so in place of x minus y first i will substitute y log x so if i consider this one has to be equation number one so x minus y by x1 plus log x this is from 1 from that here from 1 okay now you see here we have x and we have, here we have log x squared 1 plus log x whole squared so this x also we have to substitute So in the question it was given x minus y equals to y log x. So x can be written as y log x plus y. This is from equation 1. Okay, That is the equation which is given here. So y can be taken common here. 1 plus log x. That is x. So now let it be equation number 2. So again in place of x we will substitute this value here. Or let us consider this equation number 3 and this equation to be as 2. From equation 2 and 3, dy dx, this, is a dy, this equation we will be writing here, dy dx equals to y log x by, now in place of x we will be substituting here, y 1 plus log x and already 1 plus log x is there. That is 1 plus log x whole square. Now y and y will be getting cancelled. So our answer is dy dx equals to log x by 1 plus log x whole square. Okay. So this is our final answer which is equals to RHS. Okay. okay. So in this type of question, first we will be differentiating both sides and wherever the ddx y term is there, we will be taking to other side and we will be taking common. If cross multiplication is required, you will cross multiply then you will see whether it is been proved or not. If it is not proved, then we have to write from the first equation. We have to change some terms here and we have to substitute in that given equation. Okay. So this is how we will be proving. We will go to the next question now. Next question we have you see here. x equals to y log x y again here ddx are differentiating both side with respect to x that is ddx of x y ddx of log x y so this is our u and this is our v okay applying the same formula here plus log x y ddx of y ddx of x is 1 here y now ddx of log xy is 1 by xy again we have to apply differentiation now we have to apply here product rule plus log xy ddx of y that is dy dx okay. so y and y gets cancelled 1 1 by x now here we will apply again product rule that is x dy dx plus y ddx x is 1 so I am not writing it plus log xy dy dx multiply this one 
x so 1 by x into x dy dx plus y into 1 y by x plus log xy dy dx x and x gets cancelled here now from these two terms I will be taking dy dx as common so we will get here 1 plus log xy plus y by x as it is here in the left hand side we have only 1 here now this term y by x will be coming in other side that is 1 minus y by x equals to dy dx 1 plus log xy we will take lcm here that is x minus y by x dy dx 1 plus log xy and one more last step that is dy dx we cross multiply now this will come this is nothing there is one one will get multiplied with x minus y will remain same and this will come in denominator here. one plus log xy so we are keeping it as it is okay because we don't have to prove here the previous question we had to prove or in this question here we don't have to prove anything so we will keep it in this way only right Next question we move. Question number three. Sine x plus y equals to log x plus y. Now in the left hand side we have sine and right hand side we have log. So ddx of sin x, we know it is cos x and ddx of log x is 1 by 1 plus x plus y. So same formula will apply here, differentiating both sides with respect to x. ddx of sin x is cos x plus y, again ddx of x plus y, okay. I have done directly differentiation here. I have not noted down differentiating both sides with respect to x. So you will be writing that one. Again ddx of log x plus y is 1 by x plus y again ddx of x plus y right so you see in each and every question we have to differentiate y twice so here let's come some the implicit function so cos x plus y ddx of x is 1 plus dy dx 1 by x plus y ddx x is 1 plus dy dx so this one we have to multiply within the bracket cos x plus y into 1 cos x plus y plus cos x plus y dy dx similarly we will multiply in here we will get 1 by x plus y plus 1 by x plus y dy dx right now dy dx term to be taken in one side same question same way what we have how we have solved in the previous question so dy dx term to be taken in one side so cos x plus y dy dx minus 1 by x plus y dy dx 1 by x plus y this will come in another side that is minus cos x plus y right now we will take dy dx common so if you take dy dx common then we will get cos x plus y minus 1 by x plus y and if you take the LCM, you will get 1 minus x plus y cos x plus y by x plus y. Similarly, here also if you take LCM, then here if you take LCM, that means dy dx x plus y cos x plus y minus 1 by x plus y and right hand side we have 1 minus x plus y cos x plus y total divided by x plus y so x plus y and x plus y will get cancelled so you see here x plus y cos x plus y minus 1 so if I keep it as it is and in the right hand side in the right hand side if you change the sign, if you take minus common, then one will become negative and this one will be positive. That is x plus y 
cos x plus y minus 1 understood here I have taken minus sign common and plus 1 became negative 1 and this negative term became positive so you see now both the terms are same here this and this and will get cancelled so dvx will be minus 1 so this is our required answer ok so these are the few questions in which uh, some students were facing problem they were asking me to solve these those two questions here next question we have you see in terms of square root of log x plus root under log x plus root under log x to infinity that is this term log x term root under log x term is repeating again and again for this type of question we will be taking substitution the part which is repeating again and again that one will be considered as y Question number 4 If y equals to log x plus root under log x plus root under log x plus up to infinity, this root under term is repeating again and again, we have to prove 2y minus 1 divided by dx equals to 1 by x. Here we will take let root under log x plus root under log x plus dot dot infinity equals to y so substituting this in the position we will get y equals to log x plus y ok so this all term I have taken as y now squaring both side as bs if you square this one you will get y square and log x plus y whole square so you square and square root will get cancelled you will get y square equals to log x plus y now differentiating both sides when you differentiate first you will get 2y dy dx dx so log x is 1 by x plus dy dx now dy dx term to be taken in one side 2y dy dx minus dy dx equals to 1 by x or dy dx can be taken in the common if I take common we will get 2y minus y equals to 1 by x equals to RHS so this is how we will prove few questions here one more question we have in terms of cos that one you will be solving by yourself I will be giving in your whatsapp group so next exercise we have parametric functions so I have noted down a few questions from this exercise and already there are 6 or 7 questions are there and rest questions you will be solving just I will give you a brief idea how to solve some questions from this exercise you see first question we have x equals to ct and y equals to c by d we have to find ddx of y ok so parametric means now x and y functions are given separately first we have to differentiate separately then we have to combine ok so x equals to ct now you see we have two variable here so c always you consider as constant t is the variable here Similarly, here t is the variable, c is the constant. So when you differentiate x equals to ct, differentiating both sides with respect to t. So ddt of x will be c ddt of t, that is c is the constant, so I have kept outside. So ddt of t is 1, like ddx of x is 1, ddt of t is 1. So c into 1, that is c. So this one part now this one we will also differentiate t to the power minus 1 so c by dt can be written as t to the power minus 1 now again we will differentiate with respect to t ok differentiating both sides same here with respect to t now c d dt of t to the power minus 1 minus 1 comes front t to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus c t to the power minus 2 or minus c by t square so here we got dy dt right so this is our equation number 1 this is our equation number 2 we need to find dy dx so dy is in numerator and dx is in the denominator so what substitution what variable we have taken here t so we multiply here dt and dt right so if you cancel dt and dt we will be getting dy dx 
So d by d t is minus c by t square into d t by d x. You see here d x by d t is c. So d t by d x, if you reciprocal, then what you get? One by c because c by one was there. If you reciprocal, one by c. So in place of d t by d x, we will be substituting one by c. So c and c got cancelled. So one by minus one by t square. So this is our required answer. Okay. So similar way, we have few questions here. You see, this is also given in terms of x, in terms of y. Now here, variable is theta. So we have to differentiate both the equations with respect to theta. Then we will be finding dy dx. Okay. So we we'll go to the next question here. Next question. Next question we have x equals to a cos t plus t sin t and y equals to a sin t minus t cos t. Same way we have to differentiate both sides here with respect to t now d t t of x equals to a now d t t of cos t is minus sin t plus now here we have to apply u t t t d t t of sin t plus sin t d t t of t okay so d x d t equals to a minus sin t plus d d t of sin t is cos t that means t cos t plus sin t okay so plus sin t and minus sin t got cancelled so we will get here a t cos t dx dt okay so this is equation number one similarly we will be differentiating this one also that is d d t of y a d d t of sin t is cos t minus here we will be applying uv rule so here we will be using one bracket here that is t d d t of cos t plus cos t d d t of t d d t of y a cos t minus now you see here d d t of cos t is minus sin t so minus minus plus t 
साइन टी माइनस प्लस माइनस डिविटी ऑफ टी इज वन सो हियर विल गेट कॉस्टी ओनली सो माइनस कॉस्टी एंड प्लस कॉस्टी वर कैंसर हियर आल्सो विल गेट ए टी साइन टी ओके दिस आवर इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ वी फाइंड डी डी एक्स ऑफ वाई दैट इज डी वाई इज इन न्यूमिनेटर एंड डी एक्स इज इन डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव टेकन हियर टी दैट इज डी टी नाउ वी विल सब्सटिट्यूट ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ डी वाई डी टी एंड डी एक्स डी टी सो वेन यू सब्सटिट्यूट हियर दैट इज डी वाई डी एक्स विल बी डी वाई डी टी वी हैव ए टी साइन टी इन टू डी टी वाई डी एक्स डी एक्स बाई डी टी वी हैव ए टी कॉस्टी हेयर सो इफ यू टेक रेसिव टोटल देन वट विल गेट हेयर वन बाई ए टी कॉस्टी सो ए टी एंड ए टी वट कैंसल साइन टी बाई कॉस्टी इज लेफ्ट हेयर सो साइन टी बाई कॉस्टी इज टेन टी सो दिस इज अवर आंसर ओके सो दिस इज अवर फाइनल आंसर सो दिस आर द फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज एंड द रेस्ट three questions or four questions that is left that one you will be solving by yourself so this is the next exercise that is differentiation of a function with respect to another function here in this exercise we have two function and we have to differentiate x square with respect to x cube so whenever any question it is in with respect to this function with respect to another function so one function we will be taking as in terms of u and other function we will be taking in terms of v for example here we have question x square with respect to x cube that means we will be taking u equals to x square and v equals to x cube it is not mandatory that you will be you have to take u and v only you can take other variables apart from x okay so u equals to x square and v equals to x cube now this question it has become like parametric functions in the just we have seen in the previous questions so this one we have to differentiate with respect to x that means du dx will be 2x right here dv dx will be 3x square now we need to get here du by dv we have to find this one means this u equals to x square with respect to v equals to x cube that means the question is asking you have to find du by dv so du is in numerator and dv is in denominator right so what variable we have taken here dx that means dx will be multiplied here so if you cancel dx you will be getting du dt which one you have to which you have to find so du dx can be written as 2x and here dv by dx is 3x square so dx by dv dx by dv can be written as 1 by 3x square if you reciprocal this one you will get dx by dv which one we, which we have to substitute here x and x what cancel so our answer is 2 by 3x okay so du dv equals to 2 by 3x so this is our final answer similarly we will be solving for other questions also first we have to consider one as u and one as Question number two. U equals to sine cube x and v equals to cos cube x. We will differentiate this one with respect to x. So d d x of u will be three sine square x first power constant power minus one. Now again d d x of sine x. So d d x of sine x can be written as cos x. So three cos x sine square x. dv dx will be first three cos square x again d d x of cos x so here we we'll get three d d x of cos x is minus sin x so minus three sin x and cos square x so dv dx will be minus three sin x cos square x so this is equation number one this is equation number two we need to find du by dv so du is in numerator and dv is in denominator and what substitution we have taken here dx so du by dx we have 3 cos x sin square x and dv by dx in this one so dx by dv will be the reciprocal part 
वन बाई माइनस थ्री साइन एक्स कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स सो थ्री एंड थ्री वर्ड कैंसल सो नेगेटिव टर्म विल कम अप सो कॉस एक्स बाई साइन एक्स दैट इज और यू विल कैंसल वन वन टर्म वन कॉस एक्स एंड वन कॉस एक्स वर्ड कैंसल साइन एक्स एंड वन साइन एक्स वर्ड कैंसल सो इन न्यूमिनेटर साइन एक्स इज लेफ्ट एंड इन डिनोमिनेटर कॉस एक्स इज लेफ्ट सो आवर फाइनल आंसर डी वाई डी एक्स और इधर डी यू डी 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 यू बाई डी डी इक्वल्स टू माइनस टेन एक्स ओके सो दिस इज आवर फाइनल आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव टेन इनवर्स टू एक्स बाई वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स सो यू सी वी हैव टू सब्सटीट्यूट सम टर्म हियर इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स so that in the bracket we will be having in terms of tan now tan and tan inverse will get cancelled then we will differentiate this one and we know direct differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square so see we will apply here let u equals to tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square and v be tan inverse x differentiate both side with respect to x that is dd x of u dd x of tan inverse now first before differentiating let me x of tan inverse and make it solve first okay first we cancel tan inverse here you have to take let x equals to tan theta so theta will be tan inverse x so in place of x we will substitute now tan theta first so u equals to tan inverse 2 tan theta 1 minus tan square theta now this is the formula of tan to theta so tan and tan inverse what cancel we get 2 theta here u equals to 2 theta or u equals to 2 theta is tan inverse x now we will differentiate du dx will be 2 d d x of tan inverse x is one by one plus x square. Let us consider this equation number one. So d d d x now we will differentiate this one with respect to x. d d x of tan inverse x is one by one plus x square. We need to find here d u by d v. d u is in numerator and d v is in denominator. And d x for the substitution. So d u by d x will have two by one plus x square. And dx by dv, we have one plus x square by one. So this term and this term got cancelled. Answer is two. Du by dv. Okay. So this how we will be solving differentiation of a function with respect to another function. In that case, we have to take here u and v. So one function we will be taking in terms of u, and one function we will be taking in terms of v. Then at last, du by dv. That is du by dx into dx by dv. So we'll move to next question now. Let u equals to this question number four. Tan inverse two x one minus x square and v sine inverse two x. One plus x square. In both the term here, we have to take let x equals to tan theta, because if you substitute here tan theta, we'll have two tan theta one minus tan square theta that is tan two theta. And if we substitute here in case of x tan theta, then we will have two tan theta one plus tan square theta that is sine two theta. So sine and sine inverse will get cancelled. We will get here two theta. Similarly here tan inverse and tan will get cancelled. We will get two theta. Okay. So what is the substitution? Let x equals to tan theta. If x equals to tan theta, tan theta equals to tan inverse x. Now we will differentiate this one. Dd x of u. Or oh, first, let us substitute this value. So u equals to tan inverse two in place of x. We will substitute tan theta one minus tan square theta. Tan inverse tan. 2 theta that is tan and tan inverse got cancelled we will get 2 theta or u equals to 2 tan inverse x or du by dx will have 2 by 1 plus x square 
because 2 as it is and dx of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x. Let us consider this equation number 1. Similarly, here v equals to sin inverse 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan h by theta. So, this is the formula sin 2 theta. So, sin 2 theta equals to 2 tan theta 1 plus tan square theta. Similarly, tan 2 theta equals to 2 tan theta 1 minus tan square theta. If it is minus than tan, if it is plus than sin. Sin and sin inverse will get cancelled, we will have 2 theta that is v equals to 2 theta or v equals to 2 tan inverse x dv by dA that is 2 by 1 plus x square. We need to find here du by dv so similarly du by dx into dx by dv. So du by dx we have 2 by 1 plus x square and dx by dv we have 1 plus x square by 2. You see dx by dv we need here but we have here dv by dx so this one will be reciprocal. So everything got cancelled here 2 and 2 got cancelled so 1 plus x square and 1 plus x square got cancelled we get 1 that is du by dv. So this is our final answer. So here function differentiation of function with respect to another function. So first we will take u and v then we will differentiate separately. So this is the second last class of differentiation. So my next video, video will be the last uh, video tutorial on differentiation then we will move to next chapter. Okay. So practice well and you let me know your doubts and make sure that these chapters won't be repeated as soon as the school gets reopened okay so the chapters which already i have taught that i will not repeat so you practice well and let me know your doubts so that i can help you in solving those questions